Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming and today we're back with Pokemon VGC 2015 Road to Regionals and in today's video we're bringing the same team as last time and we're gonna see how we can do. We're gonna challenge here sitting at 1538 for the start of today's video with nine wins six losses. We still have yet to get a three uh, win video. Let's see if that's today boys. Let's do it and girls. I mean girls are you watching that video? Check it out. I'm just kidding. Girls don't watch this, come on. 1502 rated player from Japan. Satama. Satama Japan. Oh goodness. We see a Charizard, a Venusaur, a Blaziken. And my opponent uh, just decided he didn't want to play, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's going to give us a win. <laughs> but uh, let's try again, shall we? Didn't like his matchup, apparently. I don't know what was going on there. It's... It looked like he had the better matchup than me, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come for you, bad boys? Uh, but we're going to get our our first one here, our official first one. 1394 rated player from Canada, Manitoba. Noobs use Kangas. People who want to win use Kangas. Hey, look, there's a Kanga. But it does not have an item, so I'm assuming it's not coming. Kanga Gyarados... Uh, a lot of these Pokemon don't have items. Bold strategy, good sir. Bold strategy. Right here, your Delphox. Uh, Pidgeot. I assume his Mega's the Pidgeot. And then Zororic. Zororic. I'm assuming he's using those bottom four because those are the item Pokemon. Delphox can be annoying because it has that Magician ability. And of course, there's Zororic. Um, right here, and Pidgeot. I don't have any bug type moves, unfortunately. I do not have any bug type moves. Suicune is good against everything, so let's lead with Suicune. I could also lead Gengar, but I don't know that I need to. Hydreigon is kind of good. Landorus is good against everything, so let's lead Suicune, Landorus. Let's bring Metacham in the back, and then Hydreigon. Looks fine to me. I'm just going to put a bracket around the four that do have items, because I'm assuming those are the ones that are showing up. Noobs use Kangas, apparently, though. Remember that, kids. Uh, Pidgeot, Rhyperior. One of these could be a Zororic, but where we're sitting, we don't really worry too much about Zororic. We are going to get the Intimidate off. Uh, I can set up Suicune's Pressure here. And honestly, I'm just going to Tailwind with Suicune and Rock Slide with Landy. Because right here, you can't really touch Landorus. Um, Pidgeot's really the only one that can do anything about us. And it might not even be a Pidgeot. If it doesn't Mega Evolve, it's not a Pidgeot. Um... So I just want to get the most damage off on this Pidgeot while I'm setting up Tailwind. It is a Mega Pidgeot, so it's not Zororic. Mega Pidgeot. I love you. I'm glad Mega Pidgeot got to make it on here, because I tried using a Mega Pidgeot before. You actually Hurricane Suicune. We should take that pretty easily, yeah. We do get confused, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? We're going to get this Rock Slide off, too, which is going to be real nice against that Pidgeot. And possibility to flinch the Rhyperior. Yeah, it does about 5 damage to Rhyperior. Um, Suicune is confused. We get off the Tailwind, so Landorus now outspeeds the Pidgeot. I think. Not entirely. Oh, Ice Punch Rhyperior. This is gonna hurt. It is a minus one, though, so. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. So now I can just Scald with Suicune and. Get off another Rock Slide. Get off another Rock Slide. Okay, Pidgeot. Oh, Pidgeot protects. I was gonna say, Pidgeot does outspeed. Uh, but it does not, in fact. So, I guess right here, you're taking two hits, unless Suicune, of course, hits itself. Uh, but we always have that chance to flinch with a uh, critical hit, even. Suicune, can you break through confusion? It does. Scald hits the right here. This should knock it out. Yeah, right here, doesn't have much for special defense. So, right here, you're down, and we still have our Suicune, which is amazing. Um, oh. Okay, he just sends out Zororic, just like that. Alright, hi Zororic, how are you today? Um, 
I'm saying just go for another Scald Rock Slide here. Scald Rock Slide. Uh, we won't miss the Pidgeot because of No Guard, which is cool, but I'm still not. I'm still unsure if we outspeed Mega Pidgeot. We should. Pidgeot double protects. Honestly, that's fine. Zoroark also protects. We should still have a turn of Tailwind, I believe. Suicune, do you break out of confusion for me? Nope. We still have a possibility hit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. Thank you. I would rather hit myself so I can eat the citrus berry that I apparently don't have. Suicune, what item do you have, bro? It has citrus berry. Did it already eat it? I think it already ate it, which is fun. This, that's even better. That's even better. So let's just scald again and rock slide. Yep. Our Landris does outspeed Mega Pidgeot under Tailwind. Um, I don't know if it's max speed, but we do knock it out. I know Mega Pidgeot's real fast, because you don't even have to invest everything in speed to outspeed a Mega Salamence, so... I know it's real fast. But there goes Zoroark and Mega Pidgeot, so it's just Delphox against our four Pokemon, so... Yeah, we're kind of good. I mean, Delphox can steal Landris' Assault Vest... Um, as of right now, and that's about it. Here comes that Del Fox. Speak of the devil, and we just scald and rock slide. Yep, here comes the solar beam. Uh, that's the typical Del Fox thing to do, is just solar beam, use the mental herb, or power herb, that's what it is, and then hit somebody and take their item. He's going to use it on Suicune. Uh, it does knock it out, but again, there's no citrus berry for it to steal, so... Suicune falls, and we're going to get a... Why didn't Suicune need a Citrus Berry? Did somebody have a nerve? Pidgeot, Sororic, right here. Nobody had a nerve. Why didn't... Why wasn't he eating this berry? Suicune, what are you doing, boy? Why didn't Suicune eat its berry? Did right here have a nerve? I don't think it gets it. We were down to yellow. We should have ate it. I don't know, Ming. I'm just going to Dark Pulse the Delphox and Earthquake. Match is forfeited. Yeah, Delphox wasn't going to take that back. Why didn't Suicune eat its Citrus Berry? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is we got that win. We got that win. I can't remember. We were at 9 and 6. We're just trying to keep a mental note to see if we did actually get a win off that. I don't think we would have. Uh, for the first battle that we had there. But let's see where we're sitting now. Challenge. Yeah, we did. We're at 11 wins, 6 losses, so we're up to 1562. Look at that, boo. Look at that, look at that, look at that boost. Because we wouldn't have gotten that much off a... Was he 1300 rated player? I mean, use Mega Kanga, man. <laughs> 1501 Camino Al VGC 15. I mean... He's kind of a noob, so he needed to use that Kanga. But we see a Kanga here, as well as a Landorus, an Aegislash, a Hydreigon, a Suicune, and a Rotom Heat. So it's going to be a team sort of like ours here, Tailwind Suicune. Also has Landorus and Hydreigon, so we have three of the same Pokemon. I'm sure his Landorus is probably like Choice Scarf, maybe? Yachi Berry, maybe? I don't know. Assault Vest has picked up a lot of... Uh, usage on the battle spot, according to Global Link. It's like, uh, um, I don't know, like 60% Landers use it, I think, right now. But, um, yeah. Our Metacham doesn't show up on the Global Link, by the way. What a bunch of crap. Apparently only one person's using Metacham, and it's a fling Iron Ball Metacham. And ours doesn't come up. What is that? Um, that being aside, I think Metacham's really good here. I've been thinking about putting Fire Punch on Metacham for Aegislash, but I guess we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. Ferrothorn looks kind of good here. Go Landris Gengar. Ferrothorn. Do I say what I want to do that? Not really. Not particularly. Let's go Suicune, Landris, Ferrothorn. Do I want Hydreigon? I kind of want Hydreigon. Do we need Suicune? I don't know that we do. Uh, 
All right, I'm going Landris, High Dragon, Ferrothorn, Medicham. Um, no Suicune, so no Tailwind support. So that could be a problem because I'm giving him Tailwind, uh, allowing him to set up his own Tailwind support. But I just really want to fake out, or I just really want Ferrothorn for fake out and for he leaves High Dragon Rotom. Arguably, we have the better lead here. Argue, argue, all. Uh, Arguably. <laughs> the attack falls in two special attackers, so... Whatevs. Um, here, I can just rock slide. And... I'm gonna protect with High Dragon this turn. Just to see what his High Dragon's going for. Get a nice protect off. Hi his High Dragon also protects, so it's our my Landris versus his Rotom right now. Who outspeeds? My Landris does. Gets a Rock Slide off, and it connects. How much is this going to do to a little Rody? Not even half. That is a defensive Rotom. We do flinch him, though. And we see the Leftovers Recovery. We do see the Leftovers Recovery. So, we see that we're both Life Orb High Dragon, essentially. Uh, he's not choiced anyway. He is not choice anyway. I think it's safest to just continue to rock slide. I'm gonna switch High Dragon over Ferrothorn. Expecting him to Draco. He actually withdraws his own High Dragon. What is he withdrawing to? Age of Slash. We both went out to our steel types to take the incoming Draco Meteor. Should have been real in Dark Pulse. Should have been real. Um, we do get another Rock Slide off. If we can flinch this Rotom again, that'd be perfect. Actually, does a lot of damage. Is that a crit? Critical hit on the Rotom. He does Will-O-Wisp, our poor little Landris, but at the point Rotom's at, we're going to kill it anyway. Alright, so get some Leftovers Recovery. We are going to hurt ourselves with Burn. Are we going to be real and take out this Rotom? I think so. Super power into the Rotom. And I could just switch Ferrothorn out for Hydreigon here. And I'm just going to Thunder Wave the Aegis Slash. Possibility of Paralyze, you know. He's actually going to Wide Guard, so good thing I super powered here. So he thinks his uh, Rotom's going to live the turn. Nah, son, get out of here. Bop. We do lose some attack and defense, but the way Landris is going, it's kind of fine. Uh, I might want to save him for uh, Intimidate support, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. We do take some burn damage, that's fine though. Uh, he is down a Rotom Heat, which was probably one of the bigger threats. And with it out of the way, uh, we don't have to worry about... Our Medicham getting burned as much. We do still see a Hydreigon Aegis Slash, which our Hydreigon can kind of deal with. But we got to get rid of his first. Or, well, I'm going to Super Power Hydreigon, and I'm also going to Thunder Wave it. So, it depends on who he attacks here. If I can Thunder Wave his Hydreigon, I'd be perfect. Because then my Hydreigon can uh, deal with it pretty easily. His Hydreigon's just going to Draco Meteor my Pharaoh Thorn. I'm going to take that. Maybe expecting my Hydreigon to come in, but no, son. Now you're minus two. You're going to take a superpower, and you're going to be Thunderwaved. So, lost some of its HP with the Life Orb as well. Take this superpower, boy. It does only bring it down to half. It's fine. It leaves it more in range. Uh, both Medicham and uh, Hydreigon can take care of this Hydreigon, so my Hydreigon can now focus more on the Aegislash, which is perfectly fine. This Aegislash is probably going to Shadow Ball my Landris. Here comes the Shadow Ball. Does barely anything to Landorus. Um, What do I want to do here? Do I want to be real in Earthquake? Or if not? I'm going to try to knock off this Age of Slash. Honestly, Landorus is kind of just Dunbar. Um, I'm going to Gyro Ball the High Dragon, but I don't... Ex oh, he stayed in. Or he stayed in uh, Shield or Blade form. He's Weakness Policy, though. It's kind of bad. We got to worry about this Age of Slash now. 
Uh, Hydreigon does Fire Blast, my Ferrothorn. He is at minus two, but I am four times weak, and I did already take a Draco. Yeah, Ferrothorn went down, which is fine. He did what he needed to do, which is all that matters. And Aegislash gets paralyzed and cannot move. And so Landris will stay around for one more turn. Let's bring in Metacham here. Let us bring in Metacham here. I'm going to Earthquake, Mega Evolve, and Detect with Metacham. What I'm expecting is Hydreigon to protect, Aegislash to attack, Metacham. That's why I did what I just did. Um... Either which way, Landris is going down this turn anyway. Hydreigon does protect. Does Aegislash protect? That's the only question now. Aegislash does not protect, so he's taken an Earthquake as well. We are at minus, what, four <laughs> because of burn and two superpowers? But No, we only superpowered once, didn't we? Aegislash almost falls. It's going to be at the point where uh, Hydreigon's going to easily be able to take it out, and we can easily take out his Hydreigon. Um, so he's got a Kangaskhan in the back. I'm assuming he's got a Kangaskhan in the back. With both my Pokemon here, I can kind of take on Kangaskhan, honestly. Uh, so my Hydreigon's going to Dark Pulse his Aegislash, and my Metacham's going to Drain Punch his Hydreigon. Because uh, Metacham really can't touch Aegislash, although it is... Oh, he's going to let po both of these Pokemon go down. Hydreigon falls to the Drain Punch. And Aegislash is going to fall to this Dark Pulse. With both those Pokemon being paralyzed, I guess he didn't see a reason to keep them around. But, uh... Had he played his cards right, he and if he had Mega Kangaskhan in the back, he could have taken us back with uh, Aegislash, I would think. He can King Shield. Here comes the Kangaskhan. So, I just have to focus all power at this Kangaskhan here. I can actually double protect... I could, but it's not really worth it. I'm just going to Draco Meteor and Drain Punch. Um, Draco Meteor from a Life Orb, Hydreigon should take out Kangaskhan. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I don't think it does. I think Choice Specs takes out Kangaskhan. But we'll see what he decides to go for here. He doesn't even fake out. Um, so I guess just giving up, maybe? Because Drain Punch does one-shot a Mega Kangaskhan easily. Maybe just expecting me to maybe protect my Metacham. Uh, then he would attack Hydreigon. I don't know. But we took the win there pretty commandingly. We did lose our Landers and Aegis... Or not Age Slash. Ferrothorn. But they did put in a nice amount of work. So technically... Or like, yeah, they did what they needed to do. So I'm not upset by that by any means. Technically, we've gotten three wins today by that guy forfeiting right away. But I'm going to go for the legitimate three wins here with our final battle of the day. We're climbing that ladder, though. We are climbing that ladder. We're up to 1576 with uh, 12 wins, 6 losses. So we're at a 50-50. I don't think it's technically 50-50. I just know we've... 15-15 uh, player. Uh, we, we, have, we, have double, we have double wins and we do losses. Ooh. Is this a hidden rain team with trick... What is this? We see a Ferrothorn... Which is kind of... Well, I still Fire Blast on my High Dragon. I have not messed up the team that much yet. Uh, so we've got Ferrothorn, Kingdra, Mega Pidgeot, I'm assuming. So two Mega Pidgeots this episode. Thunderous, which could be set could set up the Rain Dance, but also Porygon 2 could as well. And Garchomp and Porygon 2. I think here, I can bring in my Metacham. I'm going to put Metacham in. I could go Landris as well. <clears throat> Landorus Metacham. He doesn't have anybody to fake out. He doesn't have anybody to intimidate. He does have a taunter with Thunderous. Do we want to bring Suicune? I think Suicune's good here. Let's bring Suicune. And then Hydreigon. Because if we can get Tailwind up for Hydreigon, it'll be able to clean up those that Kingdra Garchomp. Oh, I forgot to write the 2B on Porygon. Not that it matters, because I know it's not just a normal Porygon. But you know, you know. 
Uh, it could be Porygon Z. Porygon Z, as the as the everybody else in the world calls it. So we see Landris, Metacham. So if he leaves with any physical attackers, we get an Intimidate off. Unfortunately, there is no Intimidate. But... Why is this Porygon here? I guess maybe to... Of course he gets Intimidate. Of course he does. Why couldn't you get Pure Power? This sucks. Well, Metacham... I'm going to Mega Evolve and Detect with. Because I'm assuming Pidgeot's just going to attack me. Um... I'm going to knock off the Eviolite on the Porygon 2. I'm not as worried about the Pidgeot with Landorus. I know I have to get rid of it before Metacham can really do anything about it. But, yeah. Anyway. So my Mega Metacham's going to Mega Evolve. I know we don't outspeed a Pidgeot, Mega Pidgeot with Mega Metacham. He doesn't outspeed uh, Tornadus Therian, if you weren't aware. I'm going to see the Hurricane from the Pidgeot, of course, targeting down that Metacham, and we're going to get a knockoff on this Porygon 2. Um, probably Ice Beam. Yep, Ice Beam onto the Landris. We will take that, because we're Assault Vest. Oh my god, that Porygon 2 does damage. That ain't good. That ain't good. See, Suicune wants to come in for both these Pokemon. But I need to bring it in for Metacham. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to save my Metacham. Now land, I. Th Landris is gonna superpower the Porygon too. <sighs> that was probably a mistake. I, cause I could, I could take care of Porygon too easily with Metachamp. Why am I worrying about it as much? I need to get rid of Pidgeot. Yep, Hurricane on the Suicune. So Suicune, are you gonna eat your Citrus Berry this time if it comes down to it? Does a lot to the Porygon 2, which is awesome for us. Porygon 2 does Ice Beam the Landorus, taking it out here. Ouchie. Poor Landorus. You tried, bruh. You tried, bruh. Um. Oops, I almost brought in Metacham. Oopsies, I almost brought in Metacham. Let's bring in Hydreigon here. Let us bring in Hydreigon here. Uh, Suicune can, in fact, Tailwind, and then Hydreigon can Protect. Um, I guess Porygon 2 could set up Trick Room here, just because, you know, it, it, he assumes I'm setting up Tailwind, I would think. So maybe this is a Trick Room team for opposing Tailwind users? Hydreigon Protects, I, uh, expecting probably an Ice Beam for Porygon 2... Hurricane with Pidgeot on the Hydreigon, actually, and then we're going to set up Tailwind. Does the Porygon 2 go for Trick Room? Recover. Okay. I can deal with Recover. I can deal with Recover. So Suicune can just Ice Beam the Pidgeot, and we can start Dark Pulse flinching the Porygon 2. And that's why I didn't attack Pidgeot with my Hydreigon. I'm assuming it was going to protect, but I needed that... Uh, that pressure on it, in case it didn't. So, I'm going to Dark Pulse Porygon 2. We can hope for the flinch here. Yes. Yas. Yas. Um, so again, just free to Ice Beam that Mega Pidgeot there. I'm not too concerned if something wants to switch into it, because Kingdra won't like it, Thunderous won't like it, Garchomp won't like it, Ferrothorn's the only one that will take it, and it still doesn't like it. Um, I guess Kingdra too, but... Because it's neutral. But it's still taking a hit, and Kingdra's not the most what's it called bulky of pokemon and plus i'll it'll be up against the tailwind hydreigon the following turn so hydreigon does get the dark pulse off and it takes out the porygon too so i don't have to worry about that sucker anymore we did we double flinch it sorry about that sorry about that but ice beam onto the mega pidgeot should take it because it because mega pidgeot's fairly bulky for what it is and it's going to hurricane my suicune other than the hydreigon trying to get the tailwind user out there's my Citrus Berry this time. Good job, Suicune, you idiot. Don't get confused, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And I believe Tailwind stays up, because I think Tailwind would go before the switch-in. And there's the Thunderous. There is the Thunderous. Now, do I expect Mega Pidgeot to protect. So I'm going to Ice Beam the Thunderous and also Dark Pulse it. I expect Pidgeot to protect. We do need to get rid of this stupid thing for Metacham to come in. 
We do, we do, we do. We do, we do, we do. Mega Pinch Out protects. Perfect. Perfect. Thunderous Thunder Waves, I assume. E Thunder Waves, my Suicune. Suicune was my slowest Pokemon, I guess, hoping for the paralysis here. He does have a Citrus Berry, Suicune. Suicune, buddy. We need you to break through here. We need you to break through, buddy. Yes. Hax is on our side today. Ice Beam takes out the Thunderous. So this Pidgeot becoming less and less of a threat as we take Pokemon out. Our Tailwind does peter out. I would like to get it up here, but I'm assuming he's going to try and double... Ooh, Kingdra. Ooh, Kingdra. Okay, Suicune. We need you to Tailwind. Unfortunately, this Pidgeot is probably going to take us out. I'm less worried about the Kingdra than I think I should be. I'm going to Dark Pulse the Pidgeot. Kingdra protected? Yes! Yes! Perfect. Pidgeot, take out my Suicune all you want. Yes! I don't know that High Dragon outspeeds Kingdra is the only thing. But that's not a problem. We've, we've got two Pokemon up against one. This should take out Pidgeot. Yep, dead. Alright, so we've got... Oops, I just spelt it. Kind. Kind. I don't even know how to say what I'm misspelling. But, uh... Hydragon Medicham versus a Kingdra? I'm liking my odds. I'm liking my odds. I'm going to Drain Punch the Kingdra and Draco Meteor. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt. Okay, so Medicham is the fastest thing on the field, so we should get two attacks off on this Kingdra as long as he doesn't attack my Medicham. Rocky Helmet Kingdra. Draco Meteor just connect, knocking out the Kingdra. Three wins. Three wins. Technically four wins, but three wins. <laughs> Not even bad. And two Mega Pidgeots today. Mega Pidgeot apparently is picking up, uh... Picking up, uh, uh, popularity. Fun fact, this team used to be a Mega Pidgeot team. Now it's a Mega Metajam team. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me today. Three wins, we finally did it. We th that, that won't bring us up to 1600, unfortunately. But we'll be damned close. So hopefully next time on Friday... <laughs> Uh, we can get up to 1600 for you guys here. But thank you so much for joining me. And we'll see you next time. Be sure to check out all the other fun things going up on the channel. I believe... Let me check my calendar here. Today is what? The 19th? So next weekend is actually regionals. So we'll be, we'll be coming for you guys. I think I'm going to try out one more team here. I don't know. I might want to stick with this team just for practice, but I can always do that off screen too. I don't know. I don't know. I might just do like a battle spot special and take Pokemon from the top 10 Pokemon, throw them onto a team, see how that works out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.